Oh man, we're all gonna die, 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 we're all gonna die. Good morning, good afternoon, and a very good evening to you all, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Resident Evil 2 with Morris and the last part. Ah, this liquor, right? It came out of nowhere, sliced my arse off, then put it on a silver platter and handed it to me. Ah, it was not so much fun. So yeah, we're gonna avoid that that section of the whole game for now, because I got a super special code. The super special safe, which was over here someplace. I think we can avoid all those guys. Yeah, it's through here. Thank you, God. Whew. This is freaking tough. This is like a hundred times tougher than than uh, Resi One already. It's tougher than the whole freaking game. <laughs> ah, God damn it! I got it wrong. Two one one one. That would be a great code. Two, two, three, six, was it? Sure as hell was. The shotgun shells, I take those all day. Maybe you should give me a shotgun as well. Okay. Just a map. Just a map, because that's what you're keeping a safe. Ah, okay. Let's let's take a look here. Let's let's just take a look. Let's take five. Why is that door purple? Are they like colour coded? Oh, I see. Oh, well, if they are color-coded, then that, that works out quite well for me, to be honest. <laughs> uh, oh, it looks like we got to go back to where the liquor is, unfortunately. Oh, well. At least now I know that for sure. And I'm sure as hell I ain't going to fight it, so... Godspeed, Leon. Godspeed. Let's move. I kind of feel good, though. You know, you feel safe when you're with Leon. <laughs> That's just me, but Leon's been consistently one of those characters that you always feel safe when you're controlling. Probably less so in this game than any other, but still, you know. Maybe because I played 4 first, and then 6, and then this one. Which is not a great order, I understand, but still. I haven't saved it either, so if I die, then we're gonna track <laughs> well. Uh, well, I'm gonna rage, you're not gonna hear it, but still. That's gonna be that's gonna be so much fun. I guess I haven't, you know. I I won't have that far to go back if I die right here and now and here and now. Oh god! Seems to have been twisted off. Ugh. Don't twist my head off. That would just be inappropriate, if anything. I think I got off pretty good there. All things considered, it could have been worse. As long as there's not another one in here. As soon as I get my shotgun, I'm blowing your face off, son. I don't want there to be any sort of, you know, confusion surrounding that. What is that? Is that another friggin... Oh no, it's just the glass, okay. That's fine, that's fine. God, I keep thinking that, that bang is like somebody freaking coming through a door or something. Wow. Fall on the ground. That'll do. Oh, come on. Three. Jesus. Okay, I'm taking these herbs and I'm going inside. In fact, no, I don't, uh, I don't need to. I'll, I'll, oh, I can't fight them all. Look how many there are. I haven't got the ammo for this. Wow, is that the new save music? Because that is freaking cool. <laughs> That's nice. I could, I could get used to that. What's in here? I can develop film here. Well, looks like we're gonna go find some film. There wouldn't happen to be any lying around with that. Oh, I thought I was in luck there, but no. It's locked, a special kind of key is required. It's locked, a special kind of key, okay. Okay, I understand that. Now that you've repeated it, I get it. Alright, Leon, let's just let's just dump all this crap again. Um I'm gonna actually combine. Not the ink ribbon with the herb, that would just be stupid. I may also keep all these herbs on me, because you know, I got the space and I probably gonna need them. Alright, alrighty, alrighty, alrighty. Any more items? Operation report number two. I, I missed number one, but number two is where it's at. September 28th, 
Early morning, 2.30 a.m. Zombies over around the operation room and another battle broke out. We lost four more people, including David! We're down to four people, including myself. We failed to secure the weapon cache and hope for our survival continues to diminish. We won't last much longer. We read upon a plan to escape through the sewer. There's a path leading from the precinct underground to the sewage disposal plant. We should be able to access the sewers through there. The only drawback is that there is no guarantee the sewage disposal plant is free of any possible dangers, which means there is definitely possible dangers down there. We know our ch and you will die. You we know our chances in the sewers are slim, but anything is better than simply waiting here to die. In order to buy more time, we lock the only door leading to the underground, which is located in the eastern office. Got to remember, I'm gonna just write this down. Eastern, eastern office. We left the key behind in the western office at the opposite end for some reason because that will make it more difficult for anybody trying to, you know, do do this escape route. I don't know why we bothered doing that. That was just a stupid idea. Since it's unlikely that any of those creatures have the intelligence to find it and unlock the door. Better safe than sorry. I pray that this operation report will be helpful to whoever may find it. Record Elliot Edward. Okay, so we need to go to the west first is what you tell me. Thank you. Thank you, Elliot Edward. Edward Elliot. Edward Elric. Whatever. Alright, so let me just consult my favorite item in any game, the map. I kind of feel like I should go upstairs. That one's obviously locked. I like that. I like that it shows you um, which key goes with which door. That's that's. I can appreciate that. What is that big room that I missed completely? That's probably really, really important. <laughs> Good call, Leon. Good call. I kind of want this area free of zombies as well. Maybe you'd like leave one. Leave one. You know, there's like a message. It's fine. As long as. Oh god, come on. How far did that. Jesus. She fell a long way there. Okay, I I'll leave two. Two seems manageable, you know. I can't keep fighting everybody. <laughs> I'm already scraping through as it is, to be honest. If I had the shotgun, different story, but I don't. Ah, it's open, thank god. There's somebody in here, you might want to just come out and tell me so I can pop you. No? Okay. Wow, we really kept this place in a state. It looks like an operation map. Let's ignore it. Clearly the operation failed, so I don't need to. Nice American flag there, gotta have that around. Just to remind ourselves. Ah, so what's going on in here? It's a fireplace, an oil painting hangs above it. The title is... A sacrifice to the hellfire. Wow, why the hell would that be in this place? <laughs> like a secret bunker or something? <gasps> ammo. Yes, that's what I'll take. I'll take all the ammo. I should really search the dead cops for ammo, to be honest. They, surely, I mean, you know, staple of these early survival horrors is that you don't have a lot of ammo, but in a real life situation like this, the first place you would go for ammo is the police station. The first place you would think there would be ammo is the police station. Yep, I figured as much. Ooh. Would I need to rip? Would I need to burn it for that to happen? Hell yeah, I'll take the red jewel. I think I even remember what that's for. I think there's a similar puzzle in uh, RE3 maps. It looks like there was a recent accident here. Where you think? <laughs> oh, Operation Report 1. I'm going back in time here, technically, but still. September 26th. The Raccoon Police Department was unexpectedly attacked by zombies. Well, when are you ever expectedly attacked by zombies? Come on. Many have been injured. Even more were killed. During the attack, our communications equipment was destroyed and we no longer have contact with the outside. We have decided to carry out an operation with the intent of rescuing any possible survivors as well as to prevent the disaster from spreading beyond Raccoon City. The details of the operation are as follows. Security of armaments and ammunition. Chief Irons has voiced concern regarding the issue of terrorism due to a series of recent unresolved incidents. 
on the very we are freaking screwed. The zombies are no zombies. We're not doing too well here. On the very day before the zombies attack, he made the decision to relocate all weapons to scattered intervals. Wait, what? Yeah, to scatter in intervals throughout the building is a temporary measure to prevent their possible seizure. Unfortunately, this decision has made it extremely difficult for us to locate all the ammunition caches. This is interesting that this has just come up right after the point where I made the, 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 the suggestion that there will be loads of ammo around. Ah, uh, well done. Well done, Resident Evil. You are covering the bases. It has become our top priority to recover these scattered munitions. To unlock the weapon storage. As stated earlier, it will be extremely difficult to secure all the ammunition. However, a considerable supply still remains in the underground weapon storage. Obviously. The deeper you go, the more supplies there are. Ah, uh, unfortunately the person in charge of the card key used to access the weapon storage is missing, and probably a zombie, and we have been unable to locate the key. One of the breakers went down during the battle, and the electronic locks are not functioning in certain areas. It has become a top priority to restore the power in the power of the room, okay, and secure those locks. <laughs> David Ford. Oh, there's more. September 27th, 1pm. The West Barricade has been broken through and another exchange ensued. We sheltered the injured in the com confiscation room. On the first floor temporarily, 12 more people were injured in battle. Supplement. Three additional people were killed follow follow bleh, what? following the sudden appearance of it. Of what? Of an as of yet unknown creature. Probably that liquor. This creature is identified by missing patches of skin and razor, definitely the liquor, and razor-like claws. However, its most distinguishing characteristic is its lance-like tongue, capable of piercing a human torso in an instant. Their numbers, as well as their location, remains unknown. We have tentatively named this creature as the Licker, and are currently in the process of developing countermeasures to deal with this new threat. In hindsight, separating all the ammo was a really bad decision, but hey, what are you going to do, right? Okay, so it looks like we want to be heading underground if we can, but that's really not an option at this stage, so I'm going to head back here and head upstairs and see what we can see. And hopefully not get eaten again. <laughs> oh, you're just going to have to sit down. Oh, Jesus, come on. Why does everybody want to eat my boots? I mean, I know I paid a lot of money, but still. Come on. All right, let's head upstairs. The loading screens seem a little quicker as well in this game. I don't know if, it, if you know, again, if that's true, but it just it feels more faster paced. Maybe it's down to the fact that there's enemies freaking everywhere, but still. There's a door. The knob turns, but the door won't budge. Seems to be sealed from the other side. Hey, did I just see a flashy? I did see a flashy. Something is written on the mounting. The god of sun and the god of moon. Their gaze upon me is the only thing that can release red soul. Okay, so I take it it's another gem. I think I remember how you do this puzzle. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that now. <laughs> Hopefully not triggering any enemy spawns, but hey. You can't have everything in this world. This goes against this wall. I don't know how you would know this. I just, I, yep. I just seem to remember seeing it. I like I say, I watched a couple of A rank playthroughs, but those that was at least a year ago when I watched the last one. So, I mean, you can probably tell. <laughs> you really don't need me to to confirm that. Okay, please, nobody jump out of the freaking wall. I could have probably just, you know, chipped that hand off, to be honest. I just got that gem out, but whatever. I'll play your games, Raccoon Police Department. Aw, oh, do those not stack? That's well annoying. I gotta use a separate pocket in my jacket for the both of those jewels. How big are they? Ah, oh, more coppers. Star's office. Yeah, I know, it's to just get in there. Jesus. I don't have time to hang around here. Whew! Brief respite, thank god. This looks like a file. Oh god, Chris's diary. Dear diary. August 8th. I talked to the chief today once again, but he refused to listen to me. I know for certain that Umbrella conducted T-virus research in that mansion. Anyone infected turns out... turns into a zombie. 
but the entire mansion went up within that explosion along with any incriminating evidence. Since Umbrella employs so many people in town, no one is willing to talk about the incident. It looks like I'm running out of options. August 17th. We've been receiving a lot of local reports about strange monsters appearing at the city throughout... What? what? At random throughout the city. This must be the work of Umbrella. August 24th. With the help of Jill and Barry... Oh, he did survive then. Okay. I wondered whether, you know, what the, the, the canon ending of that was, but I'm glad he survived. <laughs> Ah, uh, he did not in my game. I finally attained, obtained information vital to this case. Umbrella has begun research on the new G-Virus, a variation of the original T-Virus. Haven't they done enough damage already? We talked it over and have decided to fly into the main Umbrella HQ in Europe. I won't tell my sister about this trip because doing so could put her in danger. Please forgive me, Claire. Alright, well I'll just take his diary. He's gonna want that. Ooh, hello. Oh, that's for the main hall. Thank you very much. Whoa, freeze. Oh, it's Leon! Did you kill those guys outside? Because that would have helped. It's good to see you're still among the living. And not among it the living looks dead. Like we're not gonna find your brother here after all. He's gone to Europe. Well, this is awkward. There's no reason for us to stay any longer than necessary. Let's split up. Look for any survivors and get out of here. Sounds good, Leon. He's always what? got a plan. He always knows what he's thing. doing. Here's a radio. It's the difference it. between him and every other character. That way we can keep in touch if anything happens. Anything at all. Apart from if the radio gets knocked out. Alright. Well, I am going to have to pause it for now, guys. Uh, but thank you very much for watching. I feel like we're making some good progress here. <laughs> we might be hanging on, but, uh, well, we're hanging on. <laughs> so, yeah, thank you very much for watching this episode of Resi 2 with Morris, and please do join me for the next one, guys. See you later.